is a tiny Lego puffer fish, and this is a real one. Wow. In this video, we're building a Minecraft coral reef completely out of Lego. I'm even going to surprise everyone by adding real life puffer fish. I'm on a quest to build every underwater biome in Minecraft. So far, I've created a beach biome for my tiny turtle Harry and a lush cave for my axolotl Lucy. I even added a real flowing waterfall and it looks seriously awesome. But I've received hundreds of comments asking for a coral reef neck. So today, we're building just that for Pop and Kiwi. Right away, we have a problem. The LEGO Minecraft Coral Reef set is tiny and it lacks serious detail. At least it came with these tiny puffer fish. So I bought three more sets to help us build our coral reef. Turtle Beach was a piece of cake with just 46 pieces. Like speedrunning Minecraft on easy mode. It came with this super cute turtle. But unfortunately, no coral. Guardian Battle Set only came with a few pieces of coral. So it isn't really going to help us. It did come with a LEGO Lucian Lemon though. No! Finally, the Ender Dragon of LEGO sets. Oh, well, that was easy. This set is massive, but sadly, it doesn't come with any coral. Like this video if you think I should build this next. Unfortunately, none of these have what we need to build a coral reef. There's a current set out right now, but honestly, it's kind of lame. I think you can do better than that. If you want to make a realistic one, you're going to have to build it from scratch. This is going to be very challenging. And I have a challenge for you. Can you spot these characters in summer in this video? If you watch my channel, you know I got Puff and Pee Wee a few months ago. I built them a gaming setup and it was pretty cool, but they're ready for something bigger. These two are inseparable and always swim side by side. They're just so cute. I can't wait for them to explore their Minecraft coral reef. But first, we need a game plan. Step one, find a coral reef in Minecraft to guide our building adventure. Step two, Activate our inner master builder to create a custom biome with coral, seagrass, and sea pickles. Step three, welcome Puff and Pee Wee to their new home. I'm giving away these Lego sets and an even bigger surprise later on, so stick around. Now, before I max out my credit card on Lego, let's organize our inventory to build a mini coral reef. We should have just enough Lego to make this look epic. Fun fact alert, all corals in Minecraft have real world counterparts like tube coral, bubble coral, and fire coral. Cool, huh? And we can't forget the seaweed and our tiny puff. Quick, before the corals turn gray, let's assemble our fish tank. These small pieces of acrylic are perfect for our mini coral reef. This thing is already floating. We're gonna have to drain the tank and glue it down. And we're back. This is too small for Puff and Pee Wee, but it's perfect for my snails to explore. Those are the fastest snails I've ever seen. But if you use your imagination, they kind of look like a tropical fish and a dolphin from Minecraft. No, we don't. Speaking of Puff and Pee Wee, let's give them a snack. These are brine shrimp, otherwise known as sea monkeys. Look at them dance. They love this song. They're packed with vitamins and fats that our fish love. After they eat, they get the cutest little tummies. These base plates will be the foundation for our coral reef biome. Let's go! So, we just ran out of our coral colored Lego. Thankfully, I live super close to the Lego store. It's so cold. I love dressing up. It's one of the best parts of being a YouTuber. I brought the coral colored bricks to make sure we get the right ones. The staff are staring. I really don't want them to think I stole these. I can't go to Lego jail. Whoa, check out this giant Bowser. I just have to get this for Harry. Success, we got what we needed. All of that shopping took a lot of energy. Chocolate with sprinkles, my favorite. Back at the studio, Adam's making progress on our blueprint. I put together this 3D guide to help you with the build. And I even built this 100 page instruction manual so you know exactly which bricks to use. Let's get back to building. Coral reefs have layers of sand, so I'm adding these bricks. I'm also gonna add a buried treasure chest with the heart of the sea inside. Alex is really getting to work and crafting our corals in creative mode. Great job, but you're just too slow. Sorry, Alex. Now we're talking. In Minecraft, each coral has a unique texture and color variation. 
So I have these tiny one-by-one -one plates and buttons to make them look super realistic. This looks unreal. While we continue to build our wreath, I want to make our stand pop. So I got us some green jello and some blue jello. I'm hoping to make a beautiful sea color gradient. Oh no. This is not looking so hot. What if we blend them together? A few moments later. Much better. It sort of has the texture of the ocean. And my favorite part, this fancy CNC machine that makes precise cuts in our wood. Shout out to Industrial Maker for the help. I'm even gonna put these inside at the end. It should look pretty cool. Now, our coral reef looks pretty good, but it's missing a lot of key details. So I spent hours looking through our leftover Lego and found all of these awesome additions. Now we have lush greenery and real sea creatures. And the final brick. We're finally ready to set up our fish tank. I just broke a ton of coral. This is way more delicate than I thought. And I just realized this entire thing is going to float. We would need to glue down each piece. I just don't think this is gonna work. We've already spent so much time and money on this. But then I had an idea. What if we encase the Lego coral reef in acrylic? This will protect it and make it accessible for maintenance. After drawing up the design and getting even more acrylic cut, it's time to put all the pieces together for our new tank. Even though this build was tough, I'm so happy I get to do what I love. I'm really lucky we get to make amazing things together for my fish. Now we just have to set up our fish tank. Let's start by brightening this tank up. Since Puff and Pee Wee love hanging out around the plants, I'm creating a densely populated jungle for them. These look just like seagrass from the game. And I also made sure to put in a ton of hiding places so Puff and Pee Wee can hide from any guardians. I even made these Minecraft sand blocks and a sunken shipwreck. This is awesome! While our tank fills up, I'm giving two lucky subscribers Lego sets and one lucky subscriber a wet pet skit. Shout out to all your awesome comments. I read all of them, so comment for your chance to win. I can't believe how good this looks. And are you ready for it? Boom. We're finally ready to add Puff and Pee Wee. Welcome to the Bubble Bungalow, little guys. We nailed it. They have over 40 gallons to explore. I really hope these two surprise us with some babies someday. This is just so cool. I can't wait to see you in the next episode.